Welcome to our video on using Data Insights, our exam results analysis tool. How to log in and what you'll see first. You access Data Insights through signing into Center Services. This will also sign you into Data Insights. You will be used to the multi-factor authentication when you log into Center Services. This will be the same. If the Terms and Conditions page comes up when you enter for the first time, you should read them through and then select Accept to move forwards. Data Insights can be found in post-exams. Data Insights will open in a new window. This will open up onto the Overview page. You can navigate back to Center Services in the top right bar, where the main admin can also manage user roles. The Overview dashboard will default to display the latest academic year with data, but you can navigate which year of data you want to review from the drop-down menu. The Overview dashboard gives you a high-level view of your school or college's attainment for all specifications within your chosen academic year and session. The qualification tabs are below the header and are shown in order of most entries to least. The subjects within the qualification below are also in order of most entries to least. The graphs available on this overview page are as follows. Grade distribution by entries. This shows strengths and weaknesses at a high level and gives you an understanding of student performance. Grades overview. This combines grade information for all specifications in the qualification level. GCSE Highest English and Maths Grade Distribution Available only if your school or college have entries for both subjects. This shows the percentage of candidates who have achieved each grade band for both GCSE English and GCSE Mathematics. Now let's look at a more detailed view of the exam results. You can access a detailed view of any subject through the eye symbol on the overview page or you can complete the subject search found in the top bar. Through the subject search, you can see the whole subject, or you can go into deeper detail on each exam paper by selecting your chosen component. Selecting the whole subject will show you the data from all the components. You will be able to see an overview of the data in various graphs. You can toggle between graph and table if you prefer. On the subject overview, you'll see the grade distribution graph, which you can now toggle to show all grades. You'll also see grade breakdown, grade performance by year, mark performance by component, and mark distribution which has the grade boundaries overlaid on top of the data. As with other graphs, you may see the compare student groups and demographics, which will pop out in a smaller window, and you can apply different layers of information to the data you're looking at. Back to the top, you'll see the option to view students. On clicking this, it takes you to a full list of every student entered for that subject. You'll see their name and marks down the left side, along with your center average, and the AQA center average at the top. You can sort the information from A to Z, Z to A, highest to lowest mark, and lowest to highest mark. This is a useful tool if you want to assess where a student's grade sits within a grade boundary, as they are all overlaid on the graph. You can dive deeper into the subject data and review the question paper data by scrolling up to the top and selecting the component you are interested in via the drop-down menu. Once you have selected your chosen component, you'll see all the information about that specific question paper. You can download the paper, mark scheme and examiner report from the top bar, and then below you will see three options. Skills and Topics covers data related to your exam and will give you an overview of assessment objectives, topics, skills, specification references, and question type. Clicking into question analysis will show you this heat map which shows a breakdown of the marks achieved on each question by each student. You can filter this by assessment objective or question type. Selecting mark analysis will give you more information about the question mark difference and also mark distribution. Again, 
These can be filtered by assessment objective or question type. You can find detailed data on a specific student by using the student search in the top bar. When searching for a specific student, you can use their surname, first name or candidate number and you can search with as little as one letter. When you click into your selected student, you'll see all grades associated with that student. Select the subject you are interested in reviewing and you can view the whole subject by selecting Detailed View or you can click into the component from there. In Detailed View, you will see an even more narrowed set of data where your selected student is now compared to the centre average and any other filters you select. You can select component to look at the question paper analysis. This will show you the marks received per question on that paper and compare their received marks with the total available and also the centre average. As with previous data, you can filter by assessment objective or question type. Let's look at how to set up and access your student groups. You can access the student groups tab from the top bar. This is where you can build specific filtered groups to overlay onto the data. This can help identify areas for action and development or compare specific groups within your cohort. To build a group, you'll select the Create a New Student Group button in the top bar. You then need to populate the filters, Center, Group Type, Academic Year, Session, Qualification, Subject Group, you can select All and Gender. Then click Show Matching Students, which will bring up a list of all students that meet the filter criteria you have set. When you have selected your specific students, you will need to name the group and set your access permissions. You should be specific when naming your group so that it can be easily identified. If you share access permissions, this group will be shown in the All Center Groups tab, which means that other colleagues in your school or college could activate it for use too. You will be allowed 10 active groups at any one time. If you are finished with a group, you may want to deactivate it so it does not appear in your list. Once you have completed your group, you will see a completed button. Once you select this, you can no longer edit the filters. You can go back to add or remove students, but the filter levels will be set. You'll notice a purple updating symbol next to your new group. This means that it is now being synced with your data. This will take roughly an hour to complete, so do set your student groups up in advance of needing them. Finally, we'll look at downloading results. You can create specific reports to support your analysis through the Download Results tab in the top bar. Your reports will be available to download for 28 days. Once you've selected Create a New Report, you can fill in the menu selections Add, in descending order, the Centre, Year, Session and Subject Information in as much detail as you need. Your reports will download immediately as a CSV file. Remember to check the box if you want to include question level marks. For you to be able to select this, you must fill down to unit level. This will then download as a zip file. When you click Create Report, you will receive confirmation and your report will show up in the main window, highlighted in green. This will stay highlighted until you have downloaded the document. These reports can offer great flexibility in how you use your data. Thank you for watching this Data Insights walkthrough. You can find more information on our website at aqa.org.uk.